The Euros bring together the best 24 European national teams. But who's the best player of each one of them? Who's the star of each country? That's what we're gonna see in this video and we'll start with Albania. And the best player from Albania is the midfielder Christian Aslani. He's only 22 and plays for Inter Milan as an attacking midfielder. He often starts on a bench, but when he comes in, he plays very well. We'll go through all the 24 national teams in alphabetical order. So after Albania, we go to Austria. And the best player from Austria is also a midfielder, but this time a guy that plays for Borussia Dortmund, Marcel Sabitzer. With over 130 career goals, Sabitzer is a key player for Dortmund, helping them reach the Champions League final. With Alaba injured, Sabitzer is the one who will lead Austria. Moving on in alphabetical order, we go to a very strong team, Belgium. Many say Belgium is obsolete, but you can ignore a squad with Courtois, Lukaku and Doku. And the best player is still him, Kevin De Bruyne. The 32-year-old continues playing very well. In the 2023-24 season, he had 24 goal contributions and also helped Man City win a fourth Premier League title in a row. He's a legend. Now going on to the next country, we arrive in Croatia. The 2018 World Cup runners-up and 2022 World Cup bronze medal. It's a team that really goes far in major tournaments, with the biggest star still being Luka Modric. The 38-year-old continues as Croatia's best player and is one of the greatest midfielders in history. He helped Croatia reach another level. And still in letter C, we go to the Czech Republic, with the best being the guy that plays for Bayer Leverkusen, Patrick Schick. In the previous UEFA Euro, he was a top scorer alongside Ronaldo, and believe it or not, in the Bundesliga 2021-22, he scored more goals than Holland. Now Patrick Schick helped Leverkusen win their first ever Bundesliga. And hear me out, in this video there's gonna be players that not everyone will agree. Perhaps the next countries are gonna be controversial. So if you disagree with any player that I say, feel free to comment down below why and who should be in this place. So let's go to the next country, Denmark. And now it gets tricky, cause Denmark doesn't have an obvious choice. There's Christensen from Barcelona, Eriksen, etc. But today, most people would agree that the best Danish player is him, Rasmus Hoylund. He signed for Man United in 2023 and already became the club's top scorer in the season. He scored 16 goals, 10 in the Premier League and 5 in the Champions League. He had just one last goal than Holland in the Champions League. Also, in Euro Cup has good players, we now go to England. England has a really giant squad, with a star in each position. And a title being the best English player is disputed between two, Harry Kane and Jude Bellingham. Now it's tough because Bellingham comes for the Euros after a huge season with Real Madrid, while Harry Kane had incredible individual numbers. In 45 games for Bayern, Kane had 44 goals and 12 assists. That's 56 goal contributions in 45 games, but he ended up once again without any title. So it's really difficult to choose one or the other, but given the current form and titles, I'd go with Jude Bellingham. In the last 12 months across all competitions, Bellingham had an average rating of almost 8. That's something very difficult to reach. And it's a rating even higher than Kane. So right after England, in alphabetical order, we reach another amazing team that is also one of the favorites to win. France. France also has a star in every position, but the best player is still him. Kylian Mbappe. This guy's a goal scoring machine, consistently scoring over 30 goals per season. And in his last season for Paris was no different, with over 50 goal contributions. And for France, he's also a legend, being the only player since 1966 to score a hat-trick in a World Cup final. Crazy. And now after England and France, in alphabetical order, we go to a much smaller team, Georgia. Georgia is a small country in Eastern Europe, and this will be their first ever major tournament. But you definitely know their best player, Kovarat Helia. Yes, he's from Georgia and proved to be the best player of his country in a 2022-23 season when he had the year of his life. He helped Napoli win a Serie A, had 31 goal contributions and was even ranked 17th in the Ballon d'Or. This guy's a star. Now moving on, after Georgia that had never played in any UEFA Euro, we arrive at the most successful team in European history. The country that played the final 6 times and won 3 titles. Germany. Germany is the host country and has a squad with many good players. So much that there is more than one that can be considered the best. The first is the player with the biggest career, Toni Kroos. 
He's an absolute legend, with several Champions League titles, 6 Club World Cups, 4 La Ligas and even a World Cup. One of the most successful careers in history. But he announced his retirement. The Euros will be his last tournament. And at the same time he's retiring, another German player is at the peak of his career. Florian Wirtz. He's one of the main reasons Bayer Leverkusen had that amazing season, having 18 goals and 19 assists. So Wirtz can be considered the best German player. He's really one of the best in the world. But taking into account his technical abilities, last matches in the Champions League and what he represents, I'll go with Toni Kroos, that plays his last tournament. And in alphabetical order, after Germany, we reach Hungary, that in the past had the best team in the world, even going to the World Cup final twice. But over time they lost their strength and today their standout player is him, Dominic Slobozlai. Slobozlai played for Salzburg, Leipzig, where he reached the peak of his career and now plays for Liverpool. He's the best player and also Hungary's captain, but this will be his first Euros. Now after Hungary, we've come to the team that will try to defend the title, the champion of the last Euros, Italy. When Italy won UEFA Euro 2021, their best player was Jorginho, he was even UEFA men's player of the year. But today the standout player is not him, but the midfielder Nicolo Barella. The 27 year old is a key player for Inter Milan and is a starter in all matches, helping Inter to win a Serie A. And according to SofaScore statistics, in the last 12 months, Barella had an average rating higher than 7. A very consistent player. Now we are halfway through. We saw who is the best player of 12 countries. 12 more to go. And maybe some of them you'll disagree. So the next on the list is a country that can make a very good run. The Netherlands. Dude, Netherlands squad is not a small thing. They have Virgil van Dijk, Frankie de Jong, Jeremy Frimpong, Nathan Ake, De Ligt and many others. They are all standout players in their positions. It's almost impossible to choose just one. But for this video's sake, I'll go with Xavi Simons. Hear me out. In the 2022-23 season, Xavi Simons had 22 goals and 12 assists for PSV. And in the 2023-24 season for Leipzig, he had 10 goals and 15 assists. 25 goal contributions. More than that, in the last 12 months across all competitions, he had an average rating of 7.5. That's a higher rating than Frimpong, Frankie de Jong, Van Dijk and many others. A really high rating, something very difficult to get. If you disagree, feel free to comment down below who should be here. Moving on, after the Netherlands, we arrive in Poland, the country of Robert Lewandowski. This one is obvious. Lewandowski is the player with the most appearances and most goals for Poland, has literally over 500 career goals. For instance, in the 2020-21 Bundesliga, he broke a record, scoring 41 goals in 29 games. Unbelievable. Now talking about great players, after Poland, the following country is Portugal. Portugal is a country with an amazing squad. And there are three standout players, Bernardo Silva, Bruno Fernandes and Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva is a key player for Man City and Bruno Fernandes a key player for Man United. They are both amazing players and both can be considered the best if you will. But it's difficult not to choose Ronaldo as the best Portuguese player. For all Nasser only, he scored 44 goals in the season. He's even got more goal contributions than Kylian Mbappe had for PSG. 57 goal contributions in 44 games. Sure, the Saudi league is not at the same level as the European leagues, but none of the other players who went to Saudi Arabia reached Ronaldo's numbers. He was even Portugal's top scorer in Euro qualifiers. Besides being UEFA Euro top scorer and holds the record for the most international goals ever. And after Portugal, with lots of famous players, the next country doesn't have as many stars. Romania. Romania is the team with literally the lowest market value in the entire Euro. Adding up all players, it doesn't even reach 100 million. Bellingham alone has a market value higher than the entire Romanian team. But they have a player in the Premier League, the defender Radu Dragozan. This guy is only 22 and plays for Tottenham, with a market value of 25 million euros. He also played for Juventus where he won the Italian Cup and was officially voted Romania's best player of 2023. Moving on to the next country, we arrive in Scotland. That alongside England is the oldest national team in the world, one of the birthplaces of football. And their best player plays for Man United, Scott McTominay. In the qualifiers for the UEFA Euro, he was the 50th top scorer, even scoring twice against Spain and won the Scotland's Men's Player of the Year award. He's at the peak of his career. 
and still in the latter ass, after Scotland, we arrive in Serbia, and our best player is him, Aleksandr Mitrovic. Mitrovic plays for Al Hilal, and just like Ronaldo, he's scoring a lot of goals, nearing 40 goals this season. He was even voted Serbia's best player in 2022, 2023, and is the top scorer in the national team with over 50 goals. He's got over 200 career goals, an amazing striker. And after Serbia, we go to Slovakia, that in the past, under the name Czechoslovakia, even won Euros. But now they're far from that strength, and our best player is him. Milan Skriniar. Skriniar plays for PSG and before that plays for Inter Milan, where he had more than 250 matches. He's a really standout player in his country, so much that was even named Slovakia's best player for four consecutive years. Yeah. And after Slovakia, we go to a country with a very similar name, Slovenia. And for the first time in this video, the best player is a keeper. And a keeper so good that was even in the UEFA Champions League squad of the season three times. Jan Oblak. Yeah, many people don't even realize, but Oblak plays for Slovenia. And he's so good that won the Slovenian Player of the Year award seven times. Yes, yeah, seven times. The last one in 2023. He has been playing for Atletico Madrid for 10 years and became the greatest keeper in the club's history. And speaking of Atletico Madrid, we arrive at one of the most valuable teams in the entire era, Spain. In Spain's golden years, they had Iniesta, Xavi and many others. But today, they are now weak. Spain has very good players, such as Laporte, Dani Olmo, Carvajal and even the young Laminia Mal. But the best is a guy that was even Champions League player of the season, the defensive midfielder Rodri. He's a key player for Man City, helping them play well and had a huge importance for winning a treble. He scored a winning goal in the Champions League final and won the Best Player award. But more than that, in the last 12 months, according to the Sofa score, he had an average rating of almost 8. Dude, that's unbelievable. No wonder he's the most valuable Spanish player. Moving on to the next team, we arrive in Switzerland, a country that has never gone that far in the Euros, but also has a very good squad. Among the Swiss players, we find a Kanji from Man City, Borussia Dortmund keeper Grigor Kobo, Ian Sommer, Shakiri, and others. But the best is another midfielder, Granit Xhaka. Xhaka was born in Basel and now is an absolute starter for Leverkusen, being the fundamental piece for their amazing season. So much that in the last 12 months, he had an average rating of 7.5. Switzerland really has an underrated squad. And another underrated team is a country that also plays in red, Turkey. Nowadays, the most famous Turkish player is Arda Guller. He has everything I have in an enormous career. But the most important player for Turkey is not him yet, but the midfielder Kalya Noglu, or better pronounced Çalhalolu. He's literally one of the most important players for Inter Milan. Even though he's not a forward, he scored over 15 goals in a season and helped Inter win Serie A. His numbers are truly impressive. Got over 100 career goals and over 100 assists. Believe it or not, he has almost 250 goal contributions. And now after Turkey, we arrive in Ukraine, that also has a very good squad, with players in major European leagues. In the Premier League, there are Zinchenko and Mudrik, but neither of them are at the peak of their career. So the contest for the best Ukrainian player is between two, Lenin from Real Madrid and Dovbeck from Girona. Lenin literally saved Real Madrid against Man City and also played very well against Bayern. But since I have to choose just one, I picked the forward Dovbeck. He plays for Girona and scored over 20 goals in La Liga, helping Girona qualify for the Champions League for the first time in history. He literally had over 30 goal contributions in the season. This Ukrainian team can be a tough opponent. Some countries are really much better than others, but even the smallest teams can go far. So in this video, we see the biggest underdog of each UEFA hero from 1992 all the way to 2020s. It's crazy. So thank you and bye.